frantic negotiations over the past 24 hours. We're hearing talk of a concept of a deal. What exactly does that mean and what does it mean for the summit? That's right, Nera. Look, uh, the talks are ongoing, but there is no denying that this deal has a lot of momentum going for it with both sides now saying very clearly that they want to get a deal done and they still think there's time to get it done before Thursday. Now, the talks are ongoing. The Europeans had set a midnight deadline for this legal text to be ready. Of course, we've gone past that deadline and we're now looking at lunchtime today for that legal text to take shape. Of course, the next step is you take that to each member state and they can look at it before tomorrow. The big question is whether European leaders are ready to endorse the deal tomorrow. But there is a lot of momentum going for this deal that is undeniable and the tone around the negotiation has clearly changed. The big question mark, of course, is what happens next if the prime minister does get the deal done come Friday. Um, well, certainly we've seen this playbook before, haven't we? A deal done back to the House of Parliament. Um, and it's almost the Garden of Gethsemane in, in that parliament, isn't it? Decried three times. What's the probability that Johnson can get it over the line in the House of Commons if, if there is a deal? If there is a deal, which is still a hypothetical, and this is a question that the Prime Minister at this point is not in a position to answer, and this is something that makes the Europeans very nervous because we've been here before. Every time a deal has been agreed here, it's been rejected back home. It's been done three times now, and we're looking at perhaps the UK making some concessions in Northern Ireland, actually agreeing to customs that Theresa May herself said no Prime Minister would ever agree to, and as we know, of course, the Prime Minister doesn't have a majority so it all depends on the DUP. It's very unclear where they stand. Those talks are also ongoing back in London, and I'm sure you've seen those reports this morning suggesting that perhaps the DUP is looking at billions, not millions, in investment in Northern Ireland as a way to perhaps sweeten this deal.